Welcome to CMA Dish Machines and the CMA School of Learning. This presentation will teach you how to properly operate the CMA conveyor dishwashers and will cover the following topics. Filling and operating the dishwasher, washing procedures, draining and cleaning the dishwasher. You might say protecting the public's health begins with the dishwasher. Your customers will expect safe food, which begins with good sanitation practices, resulting in clean dishes. The main control box is located at the top of the CMA conveyor dishwashers. All of the latest CMA conveyor dishwashers are designed with one button operation. This feature will turn on the power and fill the dishwasher with water. The CMA conveyor dishwasher is designed to be easily filled and operated. First of all, before filling the dishwasher with water, close the two drains located beneath the machine. Next, push the power on and off button. The machine will fill with water. When you observe the water overflowing into the scrap accumulator, both tanks will be full of water. Observe the temperatures in both the wash and rinse tank to be sure they are both at the proper operating range. For low temperature operation, the wash tank should be a minimum of 120 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. The rinse temperature should be 155 to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. For high temperature operation, the wash tank should be a minimum of 150 degrees with a maximum of 160 degrees Fahrenheit. The final rinse water temperature must be a minimum of 180 degrees with a maximum temperature of 195 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that the dishwasher is filled with hot water and the temperatures are reasonably correct, the dishwasher is ready for use. Always be sure to check your supply of detergent, rinse aid, and sanitizer. The chemical feed lines are color coded, red for detergent, blue for rinse aid, white for sanitizer. Sanitizer only used for low temperature operation. Make sure each chemical line is in the appropriate container. As the dirty dishes are returned to the dishwashing area, dishes must be sorted by size. Place a plate of each size on the soil table and sort the dishes accordingly. The plates should be racked, placing the larger plates to the back of the rack and the smaller plates to the front. Be careful not to overstack or crowd the dish racks. The dishes must be pre-rinsed with the pre-rinse sprayer before they are sent through the dish machine. The better you pre-rinse, the better the results will be. Now you've thoroughly rinsed the dishes. Place the dish rack into the entrance of the dishwasher. Do not push the rack too far the dishwasher will automatically start to pull the rack through. Glasses and cups must be placed into the proper glass rack. When the rack is full, push the rack into the entrance of the dishwasher. Once the glasses are through the dishwasher, tipping the glass rack slightly will speed the drying process. All CMA conveyor dishwashers utilize a table limit switch. The switch, when activated, will interrupt the dishwasher's operation. Keeping the switch clear by promptly removing exiting racks will ensure uninterrupted operation. Be sure to properly wash your hands before handling clean dishes. Remember, clean dishes help assure happy customers. 
Stainless steel flatware must be pre-soaked using a pre-soaked detergent in a tub. The flatware should be soaked for a minimum of 15 minutes prior to washing for good results. Be sure to check with your chemical dealer for proper product usage. Once the flatware has been pre-soaked, place the flatware into a flat rack, pre-rinse thoroughly, and push the rack into the entrance of the dishwasher. Upon exiting the dishwasher, the flatware must be sorted and placed in special baskets with the handles down and run through the dishwasher a second time. Now that the flatware is clean and sanitized, they can be transferred into a clean container and are ready for use. Under no circumstances should you ever use a towel to dry a dish, glass, or flatware. All eating utensils must be air dried to assure proper sanitation. draining and cleaning the CMA conveyor dishwashers. For best results, the dishwasher should be cleaned after each service. To drain and clean, first turn off the power switch. Open the front inspection door and open the two drains located at the bottom of the dishwasher. Allow the dishwasher to drain and cool. Next, remove the curtains and clean them with a mild detergent. Caution should be used when placing the curtains back into the dish machine. Note the location of the short and long curtains. Long outside, short inside. Inspect the upper and lower wash and rinse arms for debris. If the arms are clogged, remove them from the dishwasher. To remove the upper arms, hold the back of the arm, pulling the arm forward towards the front of the dishwasher, then pull down on the back portion of the spray arm. To remove the lower arms, hold the back of the arm, pull the arm forward towards the front of the dishwasher, and then pull up on the back portion of the spray arm. Once removed, use a toothpick or brush, along with the pre-rinsed sprayer, to clean, replace the arms. Remove and clean the three scrap trays inside the dishwasher. Dump the scraps into a waste receptacle and use the pre-rinse sprayer to clean the trays. Always remember to clean the scrap accumulator tray and rinse thoroughly before replacing it. Prior to replacing parts back inside the dishwasher, be sure to use the pre-rinse sprayer to clean out any debris. Following the final cleaning of the day, allow the dishwasher and its parts to air dry. Remember, your job is very important. By following these simple washing procedures and cleaning instructions, you will experience sparkling clean and sanitized dishes that everyone will be proud of.